Last topic for this lecture outline, molecular geometry. And the molecular geometry is the shape of a molecule when you are just looking at the atoms. And I tend to de-emphasize this, meaning you will get many, many more questions about electron geometry than molecular geometry. However, it is an important topic as you move on in chemistry, and I want to cover it. So uh, two electron groups, remember our electron geometry is linear. Our bond angle, and I'm going to use this symbol for angle right now, is 180 degrees. And we had an example of HCN. For HCN, we drew the Lewis structure like this. And molecular geometry is easy for this. The only molecular geometry is also called linear. Because in order for it to have two electron groups, both of them have to be atoms. And so there's no possibility of having an electron pair in the central atom for this. Not so bad so far. So the same thing. However, it does get more complicated when we get to three electron groups. For three electron groups, we have always the electron geometry is trigonal planar. And the bond angle is always 120 degrees when they're all atoms, less than 120 if there's one or more pairs of electrons there. And now we have to talk about uh, two cases. So one electron pair on the central atom. And uh, for one electron pair, uh, oh, and we have to talk about, oh, no, that's the only one we have to talk about is one electron pair. And let's see if I can think of a good example. One electron pair um, oh, Br O2 minus. There we go. So Br O2 minus 7 plus 2 times 6 plus 1. Uh, that's going to be 12, um, yeah, and 8 is 20 electrons. And for 20 electrons, is that 12 and 8? Yes. So we're going to do Br, O, O. This is a bad example because this is going to be tetrahedral. I can already see it. That's 20 electrons. So this is going to be tetrahedral. Um, we're on the three electron group one. So let's go ahead and do one. I'm trying to think of a good one. Bromine. Um, how about this one? PO2 minus. PO2 minus. This is going to be 5 plus 2 times 6 plus 1. This is going to be 18 electrons. And uh, this time I get P so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 electrons. Uh, I don't have an octet here, so I have to form a double bond. And so now I have O. P final answer good and uh, for this particular one I have one two three electron groups one is a uh, pair of electrons and so therefore my shape when I draw it is going to be P Oop, I switched my single and my double bonds again. 
And our analysis goes like this. This bond angle is less than 120 degrees. And, okay, here's the part we've been waiting for. It took me a little while. Cover up the pair of electrons. Only look at the atoms. And you get a shape that's called a molecular geometry, if you will. A molecular geometry that's called bent. Because it looks like a bent molecule. And that's it. That's the only one. If we take two, if there were two electron pairs, it wouldn't be a central atom anymore. So three electron groups. The electron geometry is always trigonal planar. The perfect bond angle is 120. Once there's one electron pair, and so cross out this part, you get less than 120 degrees and a bent molecular geometry. On to four electron groups. And I have my examples ready this time, I'm happy to say. For four electron groups, so the electron geometry is always tetrahedral. The perfect bond angle, 109.5 degrees. And now uh, with one electron group, or sorry, one electron pair on central atom, the example is ammonia. And ammonia has as its Lewis structure that. You can see that there are four electron groups around the central atom. One of them is a pair of electrons. We can draw it in its shape, and we have, and we will do it again. I actually find it's helpful to draw the three positions and then put in the H's, or whatever atoms go there. They are all below the middle of the N. So they're all pointed down in some way. And our bond angle is less than 109.5. Now, we zoom in, and I'm not sure how easy this is going to be to see, but we cover this up, and we actually have what's called a trigonal pyramid. or the name of it here uh, is trigonal pyramidal because these ones are also it forms the shape of a triangular pyramid with this point coming out of the page that point going back that's why it's called trigonal pyramidal extreme zoom out that's for one electron pair for two electron pairs Again, on the central atom only, right? That's how we that's how we are determining our molecular geometry. We get H2O. And H2O, I'll even draw it. Its molecular geometry is bent. And that's what you need to know for, elect for electron geometry, four electron groups, always tetrahedral. Molecular geometry could be either trigonal, pyramidal, or bent, depending upon the number of electrons, electron pairs on the central atom.